It's comical watching them try to justify ho behavior. Learn to take accountability. Also, shout out Fredo. Been a supporter since 2K days. Shout out I'm to you, bro. I'm a ho. I'm taking accountability. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I don't Never once have I denied it. Yeah. Oh, no, we heard you loud and clear. Yeah, loud. Yeah, how can I not take accountability, though? Right. If we're not lying about it. I think he meant the other girls. You guys are trying to say that being a hoe is a, a, for a woman is the same as being promiscuous as a man, and we we're yeah. trying to say that because it's not the same. Because that's just our opinion. opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's just our opinion. Your opinion is incorrect from a biological standpoint. Oh, um, you that's, uh, biology. That I mean, it's hard to tell what's nature versus nature, nurture, though. Ladies. I feel like that's acknowledged. Ladies, it's science. That's, Okay. Where's the science? It, uh, I, I explained it earlier. We can only you, we can. Your bring... explanation isn't a biology book. <laughs> what? I think it's nature versus all. nurture. You know, it's like there's certain things in life that are a balance of both. Like, yes, there's biological like predispositions, but yes. then the environment you're in also affects it. So it's both. Yeah, but the reality is biological predispositions don't predispose women to be sluts and promiscuous yeah. most of the time if they come from a healthy household. But then a lot of times, think about like the whole like Catholic schoolgirl complex. Like that was my type of situation. I came from an extremely healthy household. But the, <sighs> the teaching of like, don't be a slut, don't be a slut. Like the number one thing is don't be a slut so that a man will want you. It kind of instills you to act the opposite way. Do you, do you want to say something before I say no, something? I, I was like, was, I'm going to go off topic a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, you saying how don't be a slut so a man can want you. You were saying how don't be a slut so a man can want that. you. Well, right? that, no? well, that's what you were saying. The, bi yes. like, the Bible oh. says. Not that you believe it, but Stupid. that was the statement that came out of your mouth is what she's saying. Incredible. So, like, Especially if you want to go words. back a little bit in slavery, like, these women's getting raped all the time, but their husband Rape. wanted them. Just for them, they didn't need to be no slut, no no this and that, no loyal. They were still in right when they, their husband wanted them because they're them. But you have to do what again? Say that again? I would say what part again? What you were just saying about how you have to be on, you know, not having sex to have a man wanted you. As for a specific type of man is what I was saying. Like, I feel like people match. Like, sexual deviant people will end up happy with sexual deviant people. You know, a woman who doesn't like to have random sex, a man who wants a wholesome woman, da 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 if it's just a compatibility thing. That's When I was saying that, I wasn't saying that's my specific instance, but yes, I feel like as a woman, if you want a very specific type of man who's traditionally masculine and has traditional values, then you it doesn't make sense to go be a sex worker. Like, right. you know, like pick you, your side. Right. Kind of thing. I'm confused. Well, I'm I mean, you made your bed line it, but at this point, <laughs> you guys' opinion is crazy. Right? Women in general are attracted to the traditional conservative roles between the genders. That's what women are attracted to in general. And then going back to that what I said be before, learned, huh? That would be like learned, like we not were talking about earlier, because society tells us that it's, this it's is not learned. right and this is it's, wrong. It's not learned because women are naturally attracted to a man that's a leader, that's dominant, that's assertive, etc. These are all we traditional learned, conservative that's what values. Men are supposed to do. You, no, you don't think women men are attracted? taught to be desensitized? Right. What? You don't think men are taught to be sexually desensitized? No, men men are naturally sexually like desensitized. Way, like, like kind of a harsh example, but like you know the way. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys do realize that your own industries prove that men are sexually desensitized. You guys make money off of shooting pornography. There's a bunch of dudes whacking off to you guys having sex. If I was to flip it the other way and make women the consumers of porn, you guys would be bankrupt tomorrow because women don't have the same natural proclivity to large sexual access. Women are, very, are way more selective on who they want to see have sex. Men are not. So... What, what do you mean? Like, men are naturally, have a, it's a natural tendency to want to be promiscuous and are physically more attracted to things and mm -hmm. proclivity to promiscuity, etc. It's not women that do that. It's Wait, men. I mean, girls do watch porn and they're just less a open minority, about it. Significantly I don't think less. minority girls will not admit to it. I feel like I've been friends with girls for years then after fucking four years they Your admit they've watched porn. porn. My, my point Your is this. friends are not the majority if, of girls. If you relied, if you, if you guys right now as sex workers relied on the female dollar to keep the porn industry up, you guys would be bankrupt. Tomorrow. Well, girls don't spend on it because, like you've said, it's That's way more easily point. accessible. Yeah. That's my point. So women don't have a natural proclivity to be promiscuous like you're trying to argue. Men do. Women don't. I mean, like, there's a difference between, like like I said, there's like full circle. I haven't been the most extremely slutty person in the last uh, year of me go. doing this, but yeah. it's all public. Okay. That's ho shit. It's all on Twitter. That's the ho okay. shit. All it's right, not even right. me having a bunch of bodies bro, as much as it's the accessibility here, uh, to look at it. For like two hours, man. Let's move forward, man. God damn, bro. Look, man. Hand talk is annoying. You guys can be promiscuous, but what I'm saying is that you got to understand that like men and women are not the same, and a promiscuous woman is not the same as a promiscuous man. It's ridiculous to me that you guys are even trying to make this argument. Like I for think, a man, it's not I learned to be promiscuous. Our argument isn't about men or women being promiscuous. It's about the wrongness of it. Your argument is that women being promiscuous is Shut more up, of bitch. an evil. It is. 
And our 100%. argument is that it's not. That's bringing home gonorrhea to but, the woman who but, had your child. On. I think biologically, no, no. I don't get your dick sucked down. I gave it from a biological perspective that you can only have one child per year, but I can literally have thousands upon thousands. I was gonna say it just comes down to whether like you do extreme paternity, like being a man and you just out here shooting in women, or like you being a woman and. It's it, it is two different things basically. There was not also as many STDs back when we've have so many we have new STDs coming out. MJ and there's a new one that they put on the testing panel. Yeah. It was like you know so maybe it was more natural back in the day or more underpopulated for men to go impregnate a bunch of women with a woman at home. But like now you could risk bringing some stuff back. You could fuck her with a condom and she can give it to you through her throat. Okay. And you then missed, now you, you put her health. You completely missed the point that I tried to make. <laughs> I mean, because you're saying it's it. not wrong. You're but maybe that I'm just trying to come from a different perspective why it's wrong. Maybe if it's that. not wrong for the sex itself, it's wrong for the health, you know. What I'm <sighs> saying is that a promiscuous man is not the same as a promiscuous woman, period. That's what it is. A man that can have sex with a bunch of women is respected and valued. A woman that has sex with a bunch of dudes yeah. is not respected and valued. It's not the same because men have to earn the ability to fuck a bunch of girls, but you don't have to earn the ability to fuck a bunch of dudes. It's very fucking simple. It's simple. Like... What the hell? I mean, like, I, I, it's amazing to me that I even have to explain this bro, shit. Bro, this bitch has diabetes and she's still making money off that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. 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 not begging, man. Okay. I mean, yeah. right, right. It makes me more memorable. Okay. okay. If a nigga had diabetes, right? That's why these ugly diabetic men like me. I'm just saying, so man. If a nigga had diabetes, right? This nigga would be like, oh, well, this nigga's stupid as fuck, man. Like, what the fuck is going on? But this bitch, she, she comes out. Of, oh, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I had it since Actually, I was Actually, that's a good point, yeah, though. She, bro, that's she, a good, that's bro, a good she, point, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that kind of proves that, like, yeah. yeah bro, this part died back as fuck. Yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. Diabetic Gucci. Diabetic Gucci. Hey. What? You go down, you get insulin. I mean, you die, you die, you die, whatever. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, I get diabetic subs and we're like, you know, came on the insulin pump, talk about. Suck this diabetes, nigga. You don't understand. Half of sex work is sex, and the other half is chill understood. Because the one thing you can't outsource that, that women provide is the emotions. You know, when men, when men go through a breakup, Bro, they nigga. don't cry and cuddle with their homies yeah. like girls do. Wait, so how do you convince niggas to eat your coochie if you said diabetic? Uh, diabetic it's sweeter. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you move forward, man? Yeah. yeah God, okay. Damn. I'm, I'm this talking, bro. Fucking comedy, um, man. They couldn't say Gaz anything says, to that response. If a woman was a serial <laughs> killer for five years, if a man, okay, if a man was a serial killer for five years, can you say I'm not a murderer anymore? No, he can't. Just like if you were a hoe, then you will stay a hoe. <laughs> All right. I feel like you Makani. could have a Hello? realization. You could have a what? You could have like realizations. Like you could be like doing like certain stuff like that are considered like hoe activities. And then, like, you can be like, oh, like, I don't feel like having, like, meaningless, like, encounters, like, it's just not fulfilling. And then you can, like, change yourself accordingly. Yeah, but a title like will still be there. Oh, you're still, you was a hoe. <laughs> you had the hoe. You know, I was a hoe. Thank you. Know, like, Thank you. Thank you. Common sense. Be there. Listen, you can have a change of heart yeah. and, you know, want to do better. But guess what? The years you spent being a hoe, the patterns you built and habits and actions.